Mr. Speaker, this may be the last time I speak on the House floor. At the end of the year, I'll leave Congress after 23 years in office over a 36-year period. And just in the first term, you were on the budget committee. This term, the Republicans kicked you off. Why? I think it might be because I wanted to balance the budget. We're here today for a very simple reason, to defend the Fourth Amendment, to, to defend the privacy of each and every American. As the D Director of National Intelligence has made clear, the government collects the phone records without suspicion of every single American in the United States. Madam Speaker, Amendment 4, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized, those who choose to trade liberty for security will find they have neither. I rise in strong support of the Amash Amendment, and I do so as the person who is the principal author of the Patriot Act in 2001, who got that law through quickly after 9-11, and who supported and managed the 2006 reauthorization. I thank the gentleman from Michigan for his leadership on this important issue. Reports of the NSA surveillance program have broad and far-reaching consequences. We're here to answer one question for the people we represent. Do we oppose the suspicionless collection of every American's phone records? When you have the chance to stand up for Americans' privacy, did you?